Bonjour à tous. We are back today for my third Ramsay recipe. I decided to make its famous ribeye steak with peppercorn sauce. You can find the other recipe I made from its cookbook in the description. After trying several recipes directly from its video with varying level of success, I decided to get his book and make a journey of trying its recipe. His cookbook is called Quick and Delicious and promises recipe to be made in less than 30 minutes. I put the link where to get it in the description. Watch until the end to see the final results and some tips he doesn't write but are necessary for success. As a man, I love steak. Who doesn't? And like he wrote, most of the time, we are too scared to make them at home and only order them at the restaurant. I'm also a dad, and my little one loves meat, so today I decided to take the challenge and make great steak for the family. Did you know the ribeyes are the cut between each ribs? I didn't, so it's good to know. My butcher directly cuts them from the beef ribs rack. I have two excellent 350 gram ribeyes. I rinse them well, and my first tip, like Gordon's, is always to dry the meat with kitchen paper before frying it. Any moisture will slow caramelization, and you risk overcooking the steak while trying to get a nice color. Use a new piece for each steak and be sure to really dry them well. Today I prepare the recipe and try to remember all the ingredients. I also read it more so I don't make any mistake like the one I did last time. I put the link to the shorts about it in the description. Look at this beautiful red piece. I'm already so hungry. Your pan needs to be super hot. Use a non-stick over high heat. Now rub the olive oil over the steak. Remember to put it on both sides and rub them with much love. Use glove if you don't like it. And then, let season liberally with salt and pepper. Repeat the operation on both sides. Look, you have an excellent cut of ribeye ready to cook. Write in the comment who wants the first bite. Do the same for the second cut of meat. To continue making video, we need your support. Please subscribe, click on the bell, and let us know in the comment you subscribe. It's free for you, but means so much to us. Thank you. Let's come back to our recipe. My second tip is that the pan needs to be super hot. I want to sear the meat to keep the juices inside. Can you see the smoke? Time to drop the steak. The first one and the second one. I'm looking for a medium rare final cooking as it's like this. I love it. So I will let them cook on each side for 2-3 minutes as they are pretty thick. Like 2 cm or half an inch. Time to turn them. Look this beautiful brown color. And the smell is just crazy. Can you believe it? During this time, I will slice the shallot and garlic really thin. In the book, Ramsey tells us to take out the pan of the fire. We had to add the thyme, I got some fresh from my herbs garden. I can show you next time. My tip number three, there is never too much butter in cooking. Then, after the thyme, we throw some butter and start to baste, baste, baste the steaks. I love his way, and I love this way. I'm sure he learned it from his time in France. Our French cuisine is really based on butter. If you are in the US, using organic ones is essential as most of the butter there has everything inside except real butter. Then, return them and baste them on the other side, giving all the juice and taste back to the meat. Transfer the steak and time to a warm plate. Tell me in the comment what do you think about it. Now it's time to make the sauce. Return the pan to medium meat, add the shallot, and cook it for 2-3 minutes or until softened. Until now I have been following the recipe from the book and it's pretty easy. But let's wait to see the final result. I waited for the end to add the garlic. Let it grill a little and then the peppercorn. They are not green like Gordon wrote, but I could only find black one. The green ones are less strong but bitter in taste. Simple way to make the beef bouillon, it will be in my next tip. Use some cube and dissolve it in 200 ml or 7 oz of hot water. If you want more tips, just put some like on the video. Next step. He wants to make some flambé and use it for this cognac. I don't have it as I don't drink it. If you're like me, you can use some whiskey to get the wood taste, but I prefer some vodka as rum will be too sweet for the sauce. And flambé carefully. Always take care of your hair or beer. Look at these nice flames. Then add mustard. I use my, a classic from Dijon, as I'm French and it's my favorite. Then your beef stock from before. After, Ramsey wrote Worcester sauce to add, but it's so British. And I use Maggie as I prefer it. Mix it well and a lot until everything dissolves and increase the heat to high. Let the stock reduce by half. During this time, I will make one side for this steak and use another recipe from the book. Rocket tomato and avocado salad on page 157. I put the link in the description if you want to get the book. It looks super easy and really fresh. I got some rocket salad, wash it well, rinse and put them in a bowl. Today I could find some fresh tomato from my garden, probably the last of the season. I love as they are super tasty, fresh and delicious. Cut them in half and add them to the bowl. 
Try to don't use big tomato as it will be too much juicy. The shop didn't have avocado, but I will add a unique secret ingredient. Wait for it. The dressing is simple. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Always use half vinegar for one unit of oil. And now my secret ingredient is pumping seed. I like them as they give the salad some crunchiness and are full of vitamins and energy. Mix it well. I didn't put salt or pepper as the steak and the sauce will already have plenty. The sauce adds plenty of time to reduce half and I will reduce the fire also to finish it. Add 150 ml of cream or 5 O's. Allow it to cook for another few minutes or until the cream has thickened. Time to dress. Put the salad on half the plate without too much dressing juice. If you used a warm plate to store your steak before, your steak should still be warm or at least look warm. Put it on the other side. The sauce should be ready by now. Put it on the saucer plate so all the family can add as much they want. The sauce could be really peppery and sometimes too strong for your little one. Let's compare Ramses' photo and my plate. First the salad. Write me in the comment what do you think. And then the steak. For me, looks almost the same. But wait for the final result. Let's add the sauce. What do you think? I'm so hungry and the smell is killing me. Put a like if you want a piece. Let's cut it. I want it medium rare. Look at it. It's an excellent color for me. We'll taste a bite. Wow! It's so yummy and unique. Now the salad also works really well, super fresh and delicious. Subscribe to the channel to see our weekly Ramsey video and all the other recipes we try. I'm a stay at home dad and love to share my passion for cooking for my family. For more recipes, follow us on our other social media. Links are in the description. Check also the two other full recipes we made from its book. See you next time. A bientôt.